The fourth church mentioned in Revelation is the church in Thyatira. This was a city about 50 miles inland from Pergamum. The city had facilities for dyeing cloth, and it was involved in selling the purple cloth used by Roman royalty. The book of Acts tells us that when the Apostle Paul went to Philippi, he met a woman named Lydia, who was from Thyatira and a dealer in purple cloth. Thyatira was a small city, but it gets the longest letter. As usual, Christ has something good to say about them and some words of criticism. Here's what we read in Revelation 2, verse 18. To the angel of the church in Thyatira, write, These are the words of the Son of God, whose eyes are like blazing fire, and whose feet are like burnished bronze. Here, the letter quotes part of the description of Jesus' glory that we see in Revelation 1, verses 14 and 15. What does Jesus say to the church in Thyatira? Verse 19, I know your deeds, your love and faith, your service and perseverance, and that you are now doing more than you did at first. These are very good things to be praised for, to have love and faith, to be helping others and persevering. Earlier, Christ had criticized the church in Ephesus for losing their first love. Here, he notes that the people in Thyatira were the opposite. They are doing more now than they had done at first. Often, Christians start with a burst of zeal and are eagle, eager to do lots of things for Jesus. But over time, some people slow down, they coast, they rest on their laurels. They aren't as zealous as they used to be. But Jesus praises the people of Thyatira for doing more than they did before. They were growing, and that is good. Does this description fit us? Are we doing more than we did at first? That's something for each of us to think about.